play rugby there. You wonder, really, this sport is going well in Nigeria. Good one. And also, we saw Nigerian star table tennis players uh, doing their business of playing table tennis. One of the best sports in Nigeria, actually known for. We have uh, Aruna Kordi, number one in Africa. And right now, number 12 in the world. Well, good one for all the Nigerians are into different sports, be in Taekwondo, be in the Karate, any sport they find themselves. We are so proud of them. And right now, is the season of teams being in camp ahead of the African Games that will be coming up in Ghana. Ghana will be hosting the next edition and it will be started by a match, March 8th there about. And right now, Nigerians are already in camp. All the athletes being invited and we'll be looking at some of these uh, federations inviting some players in different sports. We start with arm wrestling. Uh, talking about 2024 African Games, arm wrestling federation invites 22 to camp. 22 players are right, uh, right now. They are in camp looking at the fact that uh, they are trying to see how we can do well in this sport. You look at it, uh, that sport is really growing and it's gaining momentum in Nigeria. We look at the list. Let's look at the list of both men and women for the uh, Arm Wrestling Federation coming from them. They are Elizabeth Zanu in then uh, Chika, Ozayo Zamati, Wadebin Pio Gumbure, in DDAZ, Olibisi Oyewusi, Becky Ademo, Lovet Olaoye, Chidima Uduechi, Sandra Nduku, and Adao Biobiora making that call there. Well, right now, they are being invited to come ahead of the African Games coming up in Ghana uh, next month. Olushe Gwa Jawa, Biodo Yunusa, Simon Ekwok, Monday Godwin, Chinedu Isama, Ifiangi Umeka, Oluwa Tobiloba, Dedokun, Chidoze, Chukwemeka, Francis Nadi in Nakedo Tuesday, Amadi Samuel, Babagi De Salako, and Fatai Balogun are the men in camp right now for the arm wrestling. And we hope that uh, they will actually do well in this sport over there in Ghana, as all of them are battle ready to represent Nigeria in arm wrestling. He's talking about the 2024 African Games that will be coming up uh, in March next month, just uh, days ahead. And we want to see Nigeria doing so well in this particular sport called arm wrestling. In fact, you look at it as if it's just a child's play. This is a sport where a lot of uh, athletes are really earning their living from. Good one there for Team Nigeria, that's arm wrestling. She's talking about African games. This time around, we're talking about chess, that the mental sport now. They also have the list of their own uh, players coming, uh, coming up. Federation, that's, uh, let's look at that story. Nigeria Chess Federation, uh, well, to field eight players from 13 African games. Uh, looking at the list of those uh, players. For the women, have Samson Peace, Bridget Michael, Ofowino, Teresa Moa, Ogbiyoyo Perpetua. Those are the names of the ladies that are representing us over there in Ghana. And we have um, for men, Bobo, Kigiha, Olani Wajo Ajibola, Balogun Lua Femi. And you have Aiko J, Odeon, also making that call there to represent Nigeria in chess over there in Ghana. Wishing them the best as we look at that story. Nigerian Chess Federation to feed eight players uh, for 13th African Games. African Games will be coming up. And Nigerians don't want to re at least stay behind. They are trying to fix up all the athletes that are representing us in this competition. These are our own Olympics, Olympic version from Africa, formerly known as All African Games, but right now the All has been cut off from it. And we have African Games. So the 13th edition is coming up in Ghana. And we have the list uh, of uh, those athletes in chess. I earlier read out uh, the one from Arm um, Wrestling. Well, Hopefully, Nigeria will do well in this sport. Still talking about the African Games, we look at another one, but this time right has to be with football. And football, we have our both men and women team, Flying Eagles, and also Falconet. Let's look at that story. African Games, Bozo invites 30 players to Flying Eagles camp. Lazan Bozo is trying to see how we can win this time around. The last time we came second in 2019 in Morocco, and right now we're trying to see how we can win this particular competition. 30 players have been invited to camp by Coach Lazan Bozo. And that before they had the final cut of 25. Let's look at the list of uh, the e flying eagles that have been released so far. We are actually being invited. Nathaniel Unwosu from Water FC, Andy Ezekiel from Calabar Rovers, James Friday, Marvlon FC, Femi Oriola from 36 Lions. For the defenders, Daniel Bameyi from Yom Yom FC. You have uh, Benjamin Frederick, Brentford FC, Ibrahim Abdullahi of Kano Pillars, Emmanuel Michael, Gombe United. Emmanuel Onoja from Heartland FC, Ime Samson, Dakada FC, Haruna Ali from Ali Rada from Doma United. For the midfielders, we have Daniel Daga, who actually from Ayimba FC, Awal Ibrahim, Aqua United, 
Yinka Shola of Madiba FC, Farouk Olariwaju, Beyond Limits uh, FC, Chibweze Izogo from Eyimba FC, Simon Karche from uh, Mavlon FC, Y, Ibrahim Adamu, who plays for Real, Saf Real Safire FC, and Ibrahim Idris of Kango Pillars, also having to be uh, being invited right now. The forwards are uh, Ken De Ibrahim, so Isis Lions, Danjuma Lawali from Mahenim, uh, Mahenim FC, Oluwashi Yakifenwa of Real Safire, Ibrahim Lawal, Tarisis Lions, Charles Agada from Mavlon FC, Nasir Muhammad, who plays for Capital FC, City FC, Sunday Joseph, Zamfara United, Olali Kwan Ibrahim, Central Football Academy, Muhammad Isiaka, Niger Sanados, Rabiu Abdullahi, Nathaniel Arehi, or both of them from the John Limits there. Just to read, uh, reading out the 30 players invited to camp by Coach Ladan Bo. So they will be in camp from today and right now they will be at least trying to see how they can better their loss by the time they go to Ghana for the competition. Looking at the uh, 13 African Games group stage draw for the uh, Flying Eagles, let's look at the teams uh, they will be playing against uh, that will be playing against Nigeria. We have Uganda, South Sudan, Senegal, and Tunisia. Those are the teams that we find against Nigeria in our group stage and hopefully will triumph so at least move on to another stage there. Hoping Nigerian flying eagles will do us proud in this competition uh, that will be coming up in Ghana. Let's talk about our women. Uh, this time around, we look at Falconet. Falconet uh, resume camp on Thursday as Danjuma invites 23 players for 13th African game. The way it is for men, also for the women. The flying, uh, rather the Falconet, are right now being invited to camp. Starting from today, we look at the list of those players that have been invited by coach Chris Danjima. Goalkeeper have Adelaine Ngbechi of Delta Queens, Faith Omilan of Nigeria Tess of Abuja, Rachel Unachiku of Nasadawa Amazons, Linda Jiwaku of Bayosa Queens. For goalkeepers, they are invited. Defenders, Oluchio Hagbulem of Nasadawa Amazon, Chiamaka Nkocha from FC Robo Queens, Jumoke Alani Nasadawa Amazon, Shukra Oladipo of the same team, Oluabumi. Oladi in Nigeria Tells, Falasha Dea Digbe Mile, Delta Queens, to Menino Additional of Nigeria Tells. Talking about midfielder now, we have Adoyina of Nasarawa Amazon, Taiwa Falabi, Delta Queens, Olusha Lashobawale, Nasarawa Amazons, Amina Falorin Shaw, Rivers Angels, Chioma Olise from Edo Queens, Chinjere Kalu from Nasarawa Amazons. We have the forwards now, Edith Young Air Team from Bayosa Queens, Chiamaka Okuchuku, Rivers Angels, Chinaza Argo from Delta Queens, Mary Umpa from uh, Heartland Queens, you have Chiamaka Osigwe from Edo Queens, and Janet Akekoromowe from Asisat Academy. Those are the players invited by coach Chris Danjima for this particular competition that will be coming up in Ghana. Looking at the 13 African Games uh, group stay for Falconers, let's look at the Falconers group now. We have Morocco, Senegal, and Cameroon to slug it away. Well, Nigerian Falconers, hopefully they will actually come out on top of this, of this particular uh, group stage draw uh, where we have Morocco, Senegal, Cameroon, and Nigeria there. Well, really now uh, the, the list of Nigerian teams, both for male and female, Flying Eagles, Falconets, and also Arm Wrestling, not forgetting uh, Chess. Also, reading out uh, the list of their players that are in camp. So many federations releasing the list of players that have been calling to camp. We just have to pick that for you to have an idea of what is happening concerning the preparation of Nigerian teams ahead of 13th African Games coming up in Ghana. Well, hopefully, Nigeria will do well in this competition. And we really want to see our teams coming back to win the medal, to at least top the medal table there. For Nigeria, we know they have what it takes. So when it, after all, they say Nigeria, they carry last, as we say in our own parlance here. Yeah. We go on a short break right now to at, at least allow you to have some feel concerning Nigeria until they'll be going to that African Games. They call them the Flying Eagles.
Eagles there again, Junior to the Polo Polo of Zambia. They will be going to Ghana. Hopefully, they'll come back with the medal there. Talking about football and Team Nigeria in this competition, they are preparing ahead of it. All right, now let's cross to Europe and look at the fixtures for the Europa League and also Europa Conference League coming up tonight, where they'll be knocking out <laughs> one another there. Looking at the Europa League right now, fixtures for today. Uh, we have uh, matches coming up. Final against Roma, Sparta, Prague play away to Galatasaray. Shakhtar Donetsk will be at home against Marseille. Sporting Lisbon, they will be playing the Young Boys of Switzerland. Benfica over there in Portugal will be hosting Toulouse of France. Lens, I'll see Lens of France also hosting German team, FC Freiburg. AC Milan over there in San Siro will be hosting Reigns of France. Karabakh of Azerbaijan will play away to Sporting Braga of Portugal. Those are the fixtures in the Europa League. Let's look at the Conference League now, the total Europa competition. Uh, talking about uh, uh, Conference League right now. Matches later for tonight. Molde uh, from Norway be hosting Ligia Rossor of Poland. Olympia calls against Varen Varese of uh, Hungary. Some grass Austria against Slovan Bratislava in Tram Frankfurt. They travel away to Union uh, St. Glows there. Why Ajax? Amsterdam will be hosting Bodo Glimt. Maccabi Haifa of Israel at home against KAA Ghent. Uh, we're going to be seeing, well, although the Nigerian has moved to join Leon there, formerly a band's team. Real Betis play at home against Denimo Zagreb, while Ludogre Ras Gride of Bulgaria play away to Savet in those games coming up tonight in the Europa Conference League fixtures right now. Well, we'll give you some details in the world of uh, transfer gossips. Let's look at some stories trending. Quickly, we start with Nigerian star David Okereke. Right now, he has actually joined another team called Torino from uh, uh, Cremonese there. Well, good one for uh, David Okereke right now, joining that team. At least he was uh, from Belgian Jupiler League to Italy, from Italy right now to another team in the same Italian League. Good one for David Okereke to join Torino there. Right now, we're talking about another one, United, uh, eyeing a move for Crystal Palace. Uh, Crystal Palace is French winger, Michael Olise. Olise right now is a player that uh, United are really eyeing to give for him. Uh, he's, he's been with uh, Crystal Palace and they want to get him to join them over there uh, in the United Colors. There, let's see how it goes if Ulisse will be joining Manchester United. And that one says Graham Porter. Remember him from our Chelsea manager uh, right now uh, could replace David Moyes. If he leaves West Ham at the end of the season, we have to stay with West Ham. And if things go uh, the way it's going right now, maybe, maybe if Moyes leaves, Graham Potter could be the man that they will be calling to take the shot over there in West Ham United. And the last one has to do with uh, Chelsea. Chelsea offers Leon uh, coach right now. Their coach, current coach, is, her name is uh, Sonia Bompasta. Actually offer her contract to replace uh, uh, Emma Hayes there. Talking about that particular story there. Chelsea offers Leon head coach. Uh, talking about this particular one, they want to take uh, her to take over from Emma Hayes, who will be moving to America uh, concerning her career. Well, for Emma Hayes, let's see what she'll be doing over there in the U.S. national team. She'll be joining them uh, over there in the America, while they are right now looking at Sonia Bompasta to see if he can, uh, she can join Chelsea as their head coach there. Just to give you all those gossips in the world of transfer here and there where players are trying to move from one place to the other. We just have to go right now on the show. Sports update on Trust TV. I'm um, Adeni Ajishafe. Thanks for watching.